Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can remove a node from your Rancher cluster which has grossly failed, I guess. So let me show you what I have here. Uh, if I go to my Rancher webpage here, this is my cluster. So this is the one, it's a Raspberry Pi which has failed really badly. But uh, to remove it, you click on this normally and you hold control and you press delete. It should delete but uh, it doesn't delete that. If you have the same problem, this is how you have to manually remove uh, this particular Docker, I guess the, this particular node from your whole cluster here. So I'm gonna park this uh, web page for now and have my uh, PowerShell launch up right here, right? So in here, I'm gonna SSH into that Raspberry Pi, which is failing, and then a password for that. Okay, now I'm in the uh, in the Raspberry Pi now. So uh, basically, uh, what the Docker, what does the Ranger does is that when they create a cluster or a node, sorry, a node in a cluster, it uh, install a bunch of uh, container files. So essentially, what you're doing is uh, you're trying to get rid of the container and the image to actually uh, uh, what do you call that, uh, remove them from your registration on your cluster as a node. So let me show you what I mean by that. So if, I, if you do uh, Docker and then you do uh, container and you list the container, you see a bunch of containers, right? These are all agents that's, uh, that the uh, range, Rancher uses uh, to connect and put them into the uh, Rancher cluster as a node, right? So you're gonna have to get rid of it. Let me show you another one. Um, of course, the containers are always spawned off from an image. So the image that the rancher installs, uh, these are the images. So essentially the sequence of steps is that first of all, you're gonna have to stop your container, right? And then after that, uh, per, uh, prune your container, and then uh, you uh, start to remove the images and you prune the images. So let's get started. So I'm gonna clear this guy up. So first of all, you're gonna have to stop, uh, stop the container. So we say Docker container, stop, I'm sorry, container, and let's find out the, uh, you need the container ID to actually know which container to stop, right? So go docker container, instead of ls, it's stop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna co copy the container ID here and hit enter. Some of the containers might take a few seconds longer to stop, but uh, just give it a few moments here. Okay, here we go, this is stopped. So the next container I'm gonna stop would be this guy here. So essentially what you're doing is uh, you're gonna go through progressively uh, stopping each container from uh, this uh, container list that's in your Raspberry Pi and then uh, and then get it done. Go through all the lists here. So this one I'm stopping the RKE tool here. And the last one would be the agent. Okay, so uh, if you go and list your container, there should be nothing in there. But there's some sort of a image file that's still residing on the Raspberry Pi that you're gonna have to remove it. The way to remove those container would be docker container and the word prune. They will prompt you yes or no, just click yes and a series of uh, 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 yeah, UID will be presented to you. But still, if you do, a docker container ls, nothing should be there. So the next thing you want to do would be to remove the images. Let's look at the images again. Sorry, this image just doesn't have an s. Okay, so you have these images, so you need the image ID to remove them as well. So image, you don't really have to stop it, just remove it. The command to remove will be docker image rm to remove, followed by the image ID. Okay, next one would be 
the next uh, image here, this guy. And the last one would be this image here. Okay, so if you do Docker images list, you'll see no images there. But again, it does save some files, uh, image files. So, so to remove those image files would be Docker image prune. Hit enter, say yes. And, that's, and then after that, uh, now everything is clean now. So if you go Docker image list, this should be empty. Docker container list, this should be empty. Now your Raspberry Pi doesn't have any association with your cluster now and should be out of the node, right? So I'm going to minimize this guy here and bring back the uh, uh, Rancher web page. And you'll see that the Rancher is showing unavailable, kubelet stop, and all that stuff, right? So if you click on this guy here, all your uh, four components or five components of your Rancher should be stopped right now. So although it's showing that uh, it's still there, if you give it a few more moments here um, in a bit, uh, what happens is that if you go back to your cluster mapping here, F5, refresh, in about maybe two to five minutes, this particular line will be cleaned up by the Rancher kernel itself. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please like and subscribe. Other than that, you have a good day. Bye now.